<laughs> Just your thoughts. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, I mean, it's, this is my first TBT experience, man. Um, I'm blessed to have guys like Rob, Sean, Chandre that played in the TBT. Uh, I mean, that's a big win. Big win. We played hard. Uh, rebounds was on the glass. We played. I mean, <laughs> we won the boards. Uh, our fours and fives on the block. Tayshawn, he got hot early, so we kept feeding the hot hand. And yeah, everybody was connected. Everybody was playing together. So that was fun. That was fun. Even though a lot of you guys never played together, some of y'all did. How well? How much do you think the culture that was built here at U of H had to do with how easily you guys meshed tonight? Um, I think that it's a testament to just uh, being tuned in. You know, we all play abroad. We're, we may not be here, but we're very much so tuned in and paying attention. Uh, just like normal fans and also like, you know, kind of alumni with the inside scoop. So uh, we know very much so what's going on, how they run practice, uh, some of their systems and just actions and, and whatnot. And again, we've never practiced them, but uh, we're not completely, you know, out of touch with it. And, uh, you know, there's just something about coming back to your university to suit up and play. Uh, it's kind of like effortless. You just flow right into it. Uh, all of us, you know, play professionally. So it's our job, um, you know, playing basketball is something we've done all our lives. And uh, a lot of these TBT teams got guys together who don't really know each other. They throw them together and they're able to, to function and, and work at a high level. So it's a benefit for us to be here in our great facility at our school uh, in the city of Houston and where we uh, have a little pride to, to want to show, you know, that, that we're in tune with uh, the culture and we pay attention and we're a proud alumni. Rob and Tayshawn, what are your thoughts on playing inside Cheetah Center? Right, Oh man, it's amazing. Uh, you know, last time I was on this campus, it was still hot on. So, you know, to come in and see Petita, how beautiful it is in here, man, it's amazing. So, I was, I think I was shocked coming in just to see how, how nice it was. But after, after all the chills went out, yeah, everything was cool. So, it's just fun to be here playing in front of all the old fans, you know, getting to show my face, getting to see familiar faces. So, it's feeling good to be here. Did tonight feel like a fan reunion to y'all? For sure. Somewhat. Maybe probably like Sunday when we started practicing and playing open gym and uh, for Tita Center. Yeah, but, um, I yeah. thought it was pretty locked in as a team for the week. So. No question. And everyone is a contagious energy. No one's selfish. You know, we pride ourselves here at U of H on having just good guys. You know, no one's uh, on their own path. Like we're all pretty much connected and we understand. There's only one goal, win six games, get some money. So that's what we're trying to do. Got a question for you, Rob. Yes, sir. Early in the game, Curry, Got going. Mm -hmm. and it seemed like you switched off and picked him up. And uh, I seen that a change, a turning point in the game. Was that something that you wanted? Uh, no, I mean, uh, I mean, me and me and Kerwin came out the same year. Uh, mm -hmm. We we to a couple of elite camps together and stuff. It's my guy, you know. I know him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he meet a lot of people through the game of basketball. We know he's a good player. We know he's a big time athlete and slasher. But early tonight, he showed us that he was here to shoot a couple threes and make a couple threes. So we had to adjust the, the game plan a little bit. You know, he uh, he came out and, and made us change how we were trying to guard him initially. So, you know, hats off to him. He hit a couple shots. We make the changes, we make adjustments, stay together and just try to, you know, play good defense, make everything hard on him, rebound and go. Uh, for Rob and Tayshawn, um, you guys talked about the crowd. Um, it got pretty loud there at the end of when Wes made that shot. Mm -hmm. He commented on really the fans that came out for you. Oh man, we appreciate you times a million. You know, uh, I don't even know if there's any other words to say it. You know, everyone who comes out, comes support us. Uh, you know, we're, we're alumni guys. You know, we're not the, the faces there now. It's a little different in the sense of coming to watch a you know, U of H game in, in the Big 12 versus coming to the, uh, you know, kind of random, semi-random event that's being held here in the city. So everyone who comes out, much appreciated. Houston uh, alumni, Houston fan or not, uh, you know, show up where it, be loud, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I, I would say the same. You know, it feels good to see the fans out there. Uh, like I said, in Hall 5, I don't remember the fans being coming out too much. So to see on TV when I'm over abroad, you know, to see that, and now to feel it myself, it, it was definitely a great feeling, you know, to come in and be able to just see how loud it can get in there. So I'm definitely loving it. I'm getting excited to be playing again on Sunday. Coach, was it how, how much of an adjustment was it for you, your first TBT game, you know, rules and the inning, all that kind of stuff? Uh, it was a big adjustment. Um, I'm, I coach high school basketball. I coach AAU. So the Elam ending, like I said, I mean, I got vets that, that played in TBT that helped out with everything. Uh, I mean, it was a different feeling. You could feel the pressure, you know, during the Elam ending the whole time. So that was fun. I was glad to get that out the way. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was ugly, like Coach Anderson said, but we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it.
Rob, you know, considering all the work you put in behind the scenes sort of to make this happen, I mean, what does it mean to see it all, you know, come together? Um, I mean, I think uh, it means a lot. Mostly for me, I think it's just like uh, big on gratitude because, uh, you know, certain opportunities don't always get presented, you know, for people to take advantage of and have a chance to make the most of, of certain situations. So relatively effortlessly, we were able to have the TBT team and host the location. So, you know, again, big shout out to TBT. We appreciate y'all and uh, yeah, big gratitude. Just thankful to, to be able to play here, a meaningful uh, game, meaningful event, uh, and you know, be where it rocked the forever Cougar jersey. So mm -hmm. it's just uh, pretty cool to say the least. And, you know, we, uh, we want to win the next one. Jay Sean, uh, the way y'all dominate the boards, and Coach mentioned it before, the fires in particular, it seemed like it didn't matter what year you played here. Uh, that's been, you know, we talked about culture and, and, and that. So can you speak to just the determination, the, the drive to sustain that legacy? Oh, man, I feel like it plays into what, you know, Rob said. Uh, Rob was saying how contagious the culture is here at Houston. You know, like, I left, I haven't played again under Samson, but I knew coming back, when I stepped on this campus, I had to be ready to go. Like, I, I don't care. I, I knew they didn't care about me being playing 10 years ago, like, how old I am, the oldest guy on the team. So I knew nobody cared about that. So I knew with me being the oldest, I had to step up and bring, uh, bring some professionalism to the team, and I felt like everybody else would follow. So that was one thing I kind of told myself to bring today, you know, and, I, and I've been doing it, you know, with my career. So I just feel like today, bringing it to the tournament was the same thing.